Nested, nested amidst the rolling hills and ancient forests lie the quiet town of Vandalin. Game Master's here, and we have our review copies in of Fandelver and Below, The Shattered Obelisk. And I'll warn you up front that today's video will contain some spoilers as we do our first thumb through. The goal of this channel, I, I want it to be the eyes that we once had when we could walk into our local game store and, and thumb through a copy uh, to see if it was any good. A lot of local game stores have closed up shop and the alternative is Amazon. And, and you simply cannot look through the book to see if it's any good. I want to bring that let's look through the book and see if it's any good service to, to, to you, the, the viewers. That said, let's jump into it and check it out. First up is the disclaimer. It reads, gotta find it. The fanatics of Ilvash can neither confirm nor deny whether they plot to incorporate this book's owners into a mighty new Illithid empire. Any transformations incurred up to and including face tentacles are strictly coincidental. <laughs> oh, and, and my own disclaimer, I'm simply thumbing through this book, so any obvious mistakes made uh, in the video are purely that, mistakes on, on my part, and they're not intentional. As for the book's disclaimer about illithids, now whatever could that mean? Now let's jump into it. And remember, there will be spoilers. The book itself is 224 pages in length and has a large fold-out map of Phandalin. I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. It's no secret that we are getting the original adventure Lost Mine of Fandelver in this, uh, in this book, and that takes up the first 75 pages or so and ends at chapter 4. I will say this, if you have played Lost Mine of Fandelver, what is presented here is mostly the same, but there are a few slight variations, mostly in wording, but so far I've not seen anything that drastically alters the storyline. There are eight total chapters with an Appendix A and an Appendix B. Appendix A covers the monsters that are presented in this book, while Appendix B covers magic items. There are also a few pages at the end that are used as a story tracker to track your progress through the overall campaign. Real fast, I'd love to ask that if you're enjoying this video to please give it a thumbs up. It really helps to spread it out to more eyes and I appreciate your help in doing that. As stated, chapters 1 through 4 cover the original adventure Lost Mine of Fandelver and is designed for players to start off at level 1, and by chapter 4's end, they should be at about level 5. Chapter 5 through 8 delves into the plot of Mind Flayers to take over Fandolin, and the player should end chapter 8 at around level 12 or so. This campaign takes place in the Forgotten Realms, and we are provided with various backgrounds should you choose to create a character that is from the Fandolin region. There are also adventure hooks that the DM can use to introduce the adventures to the characters. Now, before we jump into some finer details, I've got to thank these Illithid supporters. Their contributions to this channel help me keep it sponsor ad free, and I cannot thank them enough. If you'd like to check out how to become a member or a supporter on Patreon, I'll leave links down in the description, and you too will have my eternal thanks. Okay, Mind Flayers. Y you won't see much of them in the opening chapters. Again, chapters 1 through 4 are the Lost Mine Adventure. But in chapter 5, the characters will start to see things. Uh, things will begin to change. At the beginning of each chapter, through to the end, the town of Phandalin and the area around it will slowly transform from a perpetually gray sky, with the townsfolk being tired all the time, to seeing odd fungus growing in cracks of buildings, to the townsfolks showing signs of sickness. Then, you may notice that weeds are growing less like weeds and more like writhing tentacles, and the sky takes on a sickly green color, and the townsfolks begin to kind of grow tentacles from their faces. In fact, I'll use this as an opportunity to show you the collector's cover. It's got this brilliant green sheen to it, and it really looks like there should have been a Mountain Dew tie-in, but oh well, that's kind of a missed opportunity, I suppose. The player's characters might also begin to see themselves transform unless they can resolve the issue of the Shattered Obelisk itself. Which brings us squarely to Chapter 6, the Shattered Obelisk, and the burning question, what exactly is the obelisk? Goblins are collecting chunks of a Netherese obelisk. Once all pieces are collected, they can rebuild the obelisk, and the transformation of Phandalin will quicken into uh, being a new playground for three illithids from the Far Realm. From this point forward, it's a race. Characters versus goblins in a race against collecting the remaining pieces of the obelisk. And make no mistake, it won't be an easy task. The journey itself will take the characters into the Underdark to confront nightmarish monsters through a location called the Feeder Trenches and into the Far Realm itself. 
The bestiary contains 10-ish monsters. More than that if you include the subset of monsters. For example, there is the psionic goblins, and we get the goblin psi brawlers, goblin psi commanders, and, and red brand ruffians. As for magic items, we get 12. And, and again, technically more as uh, one of the magic items is the mind crystal, but there's actually seven types. In fact, if you check out my channel, I released a video doing a deep dive of those just a few hours ago, if you want to check that video out. Then you have the story tracker sheets and the map, which on one side is the map of Phandalin itself, and on the back side are larger versions of various maps that appear within the book, uh, which should be okay for the players to see. As mentioned, the idea of my channel is to give you a good thumb through of the book to highlight the bigger points of what's inside. I've got other videos in the making that will explore other aspects and details of Fandler and Below, and while I try my best not to interject my own opinion into these uh, thumb through videos, I gotta be honest, if you played through the original Lost Mine Adventure, I have a feeling that this one is not going to disappoint you. I hear you. I know, I know. Some are going to be up in arms about paying for an adventure that part of it is simply reprinted. And there are some among us that have boycotted Wizards products. But this, this, this book, it's pretty good. The overall storyline is solid, and it's great for both newer DMs as well as for experienced ones. I'd also suggest that if you're wanting to get this, and if you get the chance, actually this, if you get the chance, run to your local game store to pre-order a copy of the collector's cover. It's really, really cool looking. And if you don't have a local store to order from, I'll leave a link down in the description as to where you can order the regular cover from. I just mentioned that I've got other videos in the making that will go over various parts of this book in deeper detail. And if you'd like to see those, be sure to bookmark this playlist. It's only going to grow as I add more videos to it. Now, I got to know. Did you play through The Lost Minds of Foundover when it came out? Do you plan to pick up this volume to continue that campaign? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, be aware of uh, Daisy the Cow. You don't have to kill her, just, just be aware of her.